Good morning, class. You are welcome to online teaching on security education. As you all know my name is Mr. Rahim, your security education teacher. We are meeting today on week 10 on the topic the roles of Nigerian Navy in preventing crime. The roles of Nigerian Navy in preventing crime. Don't forget that we have made, we have discussed the role of Nigerian police in combating crime. We have equally look at the role of Nigerian army in preventing crime. We are we have also look at the roles of Nigerian Air Force in preventing crime. For today, we are looking at the roles of Nigerian Navy in preventing crime. But before then, we need to look at the lesson objective. That is what we want to achieve at the end of the lesson, or what we ought to have known at the end of the lesson. So at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to explain the roles of Nigerian Navy in protecting the country, to state the ways of relating with security agents. Let's go back to this. We are started to be able to explain the roles of Nigerian Navy in protecting the country to see the ways of relating with the security agent. On your screen, you can see the picture of Nigerian Navy. If you think the Nigerian Navy headquarters, you can see both man and woman dressed in white attire, which happens to be the Indian Navy dress. On your right hand, you can also see the picture of the, the chief of Nava staff, which is the head of Nigerian Navy in Nigeria. Let's go now, the Nigerian Navy now. The Nigerian Navy is the sea branch of the Nigerian Armed Forces. The Nigerian Navy defends the country on the sea. If you can recall when we are discussing the Nigerian, of, uh, the Nigerian army, the function of the Nigerian army, we said that they, they are the land aspect of the Nigerian army. They defend the territorial integrity of the Nigerian on the land. Also, we discussed the Nigerian Air Force, which their own function is to defend the territory, the air of the Nigeria. And the equally elite Nigerian army to where they want to combat crime, they equally support the Nigerian Navy. So Nigerian Navy now is the sea branch of Nigerian armed forces, and they defend the country on the sea. Functions of the Nigerian Navy. Functions of the Nigerian Navy. One, we have the military role. The military role. The military role consists of a ensure there is peace in Nigerian territory, even if it might require the use of force. They make sure there is peace in Nigerian territory, even if it might require the use of force. Two, ensure there is stability in all arms of government, balance of power function. Yes, it is one of the duty of the military role duty of Nigerian Navy to ensure that there is stability in all arms of government in the, the, the executive, the legislative, and the judiciary arms of government. The three of them work together, the executive see to the administration execution of the law to the legislative arms at the law making and judiciary are the one to interpret the law. Yes, three of them work together. So it is the duty of Nigerian Navy to make sure that there is stability in all arms of the government. Two, diplomatic rule. Diplomatic rule. The diplomatic role is concerned with the management of foreign policy, short of the actual employment of force. Under the force, under the military role, we said that they, they must make sure that there is peace in Nigerian territory. 
and if it needs the force. But this one now, diplomatic group, they need to uh, employ diplomacy. They need to adopt diplomacy under diplomatic group to, to manage the foreign policy, which is short of action employment of force. They must manage the foreign policy of the country and with this they need to employ diplomacy. They need to adopt diplomacy. Not all the time you use force. You cannot be fighting all the countries of the world, but you apply diplomacy in dealing with them in their foreign policy. Number three, policing role. The policy role is concerned much more with the territorial waters and assures with the maintenance of law and order within this area. They need to police the Nigerian waters. It's the duty of Nigerian Navy to police the Nigerian waters. They need to make sure the maintenance of law and order within the Nigerian water. Four, post guard duties. Post guard duties, which includes war against illegal fishing called poaching. That is, illegal fishing is called poaching. Okay? It is the duty of Nigerian Navy to safeguard the Nigerian water and, and fight the war against illegal fishing. No foreigner is allowed to fish on Nigerian territorial water space. That is, no foreigner is allowed to fish on Nigerian territorial water space. It, has ne it is never allowed unless such body has been cleared to do that. Or they have been given permission to do that. They obtain permission from the federal government of Nigeria to do that. Anti-smuggling. Smuggling is illegal importation of goods which a country has outlawed. A, a, each country has the law that guiding the goods that can be brought to the country. And if the country has made it a law to import, it has made it illegal to import any goods, nobody is allowed to bring it to the country. Nobody will be allowed to do it. And it is the work of the Nigerian Navy to make sure that nobody import illegal goods through the water. Six, offshore oil protection. It is the duty of Nigerian Navy to prepare the offshore oil, that is the oil rig, to the areas where oil is being mined in Nigeria, like in Delta State, Edo State, River State, Cross River, Akwaibo, and Abia State, where there is a large deposit of uh, crude oil. So it is the duty of Nigerian Navy to make sure that they, prepare, they provide the kind of offshore protection. You need to protect the lives and equipment of various companies that engage in oil drilling. Don't forget that a lot of money is being sunk to oil drilling. There are white workers, that is foreigners, expatriates that have come to Nigeria to assist us in oil drilling. We have indigenous as citizens that are equally working in those areas. The, the Nigerian, it is the duty of Nigerian Navy to protect their lives as well as the equipment that are being used in oil drilling. And those are the functions or the roles of Nigerian Navy. We have to look at the policing roles Coast Guard, the offshore security, taking care of our oil pipe and the, the areas where oil is being drilled so that they will protect the life and the lives of, of the CIA people as well as the equipment that are being used there. So those are the functions of Nigerian Navy. Let us look at the ways of relating with security Agent. How do we suppose to deal with the, the security agent? We have talked about the security agent now. We have the Nigerian police, but we have Nigerian army, we have Nigerian 
therefore, and we have Nigeria Navy, as we have discussed, their role before. So, no, number one way of dealing or relating with security agents, one, giving information to the police when they need it. Yes, it is very important that we must give the information to the police when they need it. Police is our friend. We don't need to fear them. We need to assure them. We need to help them so that they can help us carry, uh, making our society to be free from the criminals and criminal activities. So that criminality will be outlawed in Nigeria. Two, so, reporting suspected criminals to the police. Yes, it's also one of the way of uh, relating with the security agents. We have to report suspected criminals to the police. Once you suspect anybody to be of a criminal, to be a criminal, report the person to the police. Don't wait until when that person has perpetrated evil before you start running a task, a task getter to report the person. But once you suspect anybody to be a criminal, please report the person to the police. Any suspicious movement during the day and night should be reported to the police. Yes, if you see any suspicious movement during the day, either one person or group of people, then you need to report to the police. For all citizens must be law abiding. Yes, it is one of the duties of the citizens of the country to be law abiding. Citizens are the uh, people that have the legal means to be uh, legal backing to be the to be in the country in which they are living and petition can be acquired through birth, naturalization and registration. So all the citizens must be law abiding. The laws are documented in the constitution of the country and all the citizens must obey the rules and regulation of the country. Why? Give the security agents the necessary support through corporate and religious organizations. Yes, the security agents must be given the necessary support. The corporate organization like the company, the financial institutions, they need to support the security agents. So the financial means they can provide one of the, the example of it is this uh, the Dangote group of companies that have been supporting the Nigerian police by being, building a police post for them, buying cars for them to chase the criminals. So also the Mekano group of companies too is doing a good job in that area. They are equally building the police post for the police and they are providing the logistics for them. Then the religious organization too will have to come in to support the Nigerian police in order to make sure that our society is free from all form of crimes and criminality is put in check in Nigeria. These are the ways we can relate with security agents to support them in making the territorial in defending the territorial integrity of Nigeria. Thank you. God bless you. Remain blessed. Stay at home. Don't roam about during this coronavirus pandemic. And make sure you wash your hands regularly. And if you want to leave your house, make sure you wear your nose mask. Thank you. God bless you. Remain blessed. We meet again on security education. Thank you. God bless you.